Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Cameron Fitzer, Master Club Fitter here at our Minnetonka location. And a fun one today. It's a what's in the bag with a variation of what's in the bag. Um, we've got Cameron's uh, you know, best clubs to fit with in 2022 to fit into golfers. So um, we've also got a fun bag that was traded in, USA stand bag yeah. here. So um, Cameron though, the these clubs, we got a mix of brands here. Definitely. Uh, but I think you've got some interesting combinations here. We also have a combo iron set that we'll get to. Right. But, uh, let's start at the top of the bag. Mm -hmm. Start with the driver. It looks yep. like you got the TSR. I do have a TSR in here. So uh, obviously kind of being something that was released towards the back end of 2022 here, mm -hmm. kind of being your, your latest release in terms of the driver space. Yep. Um, just something we've seen a ton of success and a ton of buzz in store around kind of following the release of the new TSR yep. stuff. So. Really, I grabbed the two model, but really yeah. something where we could have kind of incorporated the right, three right. different models, just being that Titleist is really in a spot where they, they do have a head for each individual player, which yeah. I think is the biggest thing that benefits me and benefits all the guys that fit here. Yep. Allows us to, to do our job better, just being that we have an option that really yeah. allows us to cater to that individual player. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really, the reason I picked the two is because it kind of picked, uh, fits the bras category of golfers. Yeah. Kind of your more forgiving head, um, obviously the adjustability from SureFit is something that's kind yeah. of a fitter's dream where we can interchange loft, lie angle, um, all stuff that we definitely dive into yeah. in, in each fitting, just again, cause we're catering to that individual yeah. player, not yeah. something where, Hey, we're giving you a driver. It's a one standard setting and we're sending you out the door. In certain cases we may end up there, yeah. but we're going to run through the options and make sure that's kind of where right. we end up. Right. So I mean, 16 loft and lie unique settings with the SureFit hosel. That, right. And that's been a staple with hundred percent for a while. So now yeah. they're kind of. They've had that adjustability piece and now they're really delivering the ball speed and the performance yep. and the forgiveness in those drivers. So just um, consistency here is awesome. Consistency yeah. of speeds across the face, consistency of spin rates really makes for a fitter's dream. Right. Um, moving down, Fairy Woods here. Yeah. Different brand. And yep. I also noticed you included a seven wood. I here. have, so, I have. Um, we've got Ping G425 Max models here. Yep. So uh, went with the 425 Max. Um, reason I think a lot of players have success with this, obviously super forgiving head, center gravity way back on this one, so yeah. easy to launch. Um, very resistant to twist that moment inertia property on those off center strikes. Um, really from a fairwood perspective, I think a lot of things that benefit this have to do with technology, where yeah. you've got your spin consistency, your mm -hmm. face curvature, low sure. on the face, helps you create consistent spin and also create yeah. consistent ball speeds. Yeah. Um, so something definitely players where a lot of guys do have that tendency just to hit it a little bit thinner or catch yeah. it kind of low on the face with those fairy woods, something that's awesome. Right. And like you said, kind of bridging the gap, definitely something we've seen more of this year, kind of that transition from let's say a, a longer iron or even hybrid in some cases towards that higher lofted fairy wood, just because yeah. players need that height and trajectory. Right. We need that stopping power and there's a lot of cases now where players, if you don't have a ton of speed, four iron's just not gonna get in the air and do the job that we're looking for out right. of it. And I think that's just it. it. It doesn't necessarily matter what it says on the bag. A lot of people get into the egotistical thing. Right. Of don't wanna have too many head covers oh, in yeah. the bag. But to be honest, if you've got a seven wood and it does the same thing as the iron you're replacing, but it goes higher and spins more. And it's easier to hit. I mean, it makes the game easier. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's certainly a trend that we've noticed even just in, you know, the comments and the engagement we get yep. on our videos is people talking more about high lofted fairy woods, seven woods, yep. even nine woods. Even nine woods, yeah. Um, they just, and we've tested them. They, they launch higher. Right. They are a little easier to get off the ground, mm -hmm. a little bit more forgiving for a lot of players. And so you're seeing more and more of those in bags. You're Definitely. seeing also manufacturers offer more options yep. there as well with, with their new models. So right. that's, that's been awesome to see. Um, hybrid, same Hy kind of, Hybrid, same, same brand, yep. here, yeah. And really I would kind of group a lot of these clubs together. It's kind of that, that kind of gap between the driver and, and your longest iron yeah. in the set. How are we gonna fill that out? So really these two could potentially be interchangeable too, sure, yeah. your, your hybrid or your higher, lo higher lofted fairy wood. Um, but honestly, we've definitely seen more shift towards guys getting out of the four iron and kind yeah. of moving into that hybrid club as well too a shape for a lot of guys that can be more confidence inspiring compared to like a long iron for sure. And really more so what we're seeing, four irons are out a lot of times. Yeah. We're seeing more discussions between yeah. whether it's going to be that higher lofted fairy wood or the, the hybrid yeah. club. Yeah. Um, but f from my experience, really 90, 85% of players should have some sort of hybrid or, or higher lofted fairy wood in that yeah. third slot in the bag for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's, it's just, it's a really good mix too if someone that who doesn't want to hit it too high because there are right. there are enough players with some decent speed that mm -hmm. maybe the you know the seven wood or the nine wood just would hit it too high. Right. And that's where the hybrid can, can come into play and be the the perfect fit there. Definitely. So, um, now into the irons, 
uh, a, a kind of a brand that maybe isn't at the forefront necessarily right. of golf equipment, but still produces some really good stuff. Definitely. Shrixon. Yes. And I think you have a combo set. In I do have a combo set. So uh, two models kind of incorporated within this set here where we've got ZX-5s and the longer irons, kind of your more forgiving player's distance iron, moving into more of a player's model on the shorter irons. Yeah. Uh, those ZX-7s. Forge had across those two models, um, along with that traditional lofts and your, your shorter irons here where we need that stopping power, yeah. need that spin as well. But along with that, something we've seen in the fitting bays more so now is delivery is changing. How golfers yeah. deliver the golf club has definitely changed over the last couple of years. And so really one of the reasons why I picked this one was kind of their sole design that yeah. they have. Mm -hmm. Kind of something that's exclusive to Strixon where they've got that VT sole something that's really nice for that guy who's a little steeper and gets into the ground yep. a little bit more. Yep. And definitely something where longer irons, again, similar to what we said about the, the hybrid and those higher lofted fairway woods, giving a little more help and a little more ease of use getting that ball in the air with the yep. longer irons is definitely not a bad thing by any means. Yeah, and I think the, there's something to be said about combo sets, um, especially this one in particular, the ZX5, mm -hmm. ZX7, they look so similar yes. at a dress yes. that um, it can really be uh, visually the right feel for a player that yep. might be skeptical about a combo set or yep. playing two different iron sets in the bag. Like how how you know how would a player do that? Well, I would agree. With these clubs in particular, they look so similar at a dress mm -hmm. that you don't even notice it really. Right. And so, like you mentioned, it's not about what the club has on it or the number or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just about the performance. And exactly. They're able to blend these really well together. So yep. uh, ZX7 and ZX7 have been really good. A lot of buzz about those as well. Yeah. Um, in the comments and the engagement on our YouTube channel. Uh, so I. I think that's a really good pick, personally. Yeah, I, I I would say that's something I stand by, something that we've kind of seen success with through the the kind of couple of years of its product cycle. Yeah. I'm really interested to kind of see what the next offering is from yeah. them. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's, that'll be tough to top. Right. right? We'll see if right. uh, Strixon can pull it off. So Definitely. Down to the wedges now. Yes. Uh, going to TaylorMade. Another one. brand here, yep. So, um, again, some technology kind of included in this, too. Um, really biggest thing that I've noticed from a like a fitting perspective that I've kind of seen benefits yeah. from, your raised micro rib, where you've yeah. kind of got those almost mini grooves between your grooves yeah. that yeah. really allow you to create a little more spin and mm -hmm. create a little more stopping power on those shorter green side shots. Yep. Definitely something where I know I could use some help and I know a lot of golfers could benefit right. from just getting a little bit more green side spin and having something where it lands and stops a little quicker on those shorter shots. Yep. Yep. And then of course they have multiple, you know, bounce and grind options. Right. So, you know, fit any player looking yep. for open faced or maybe there's steep attack angle shallow. Yep. Um, I play the high toe yep. uh, in my bag as right. well. So. Uh, I definitely am the type that I like to open the face and yep. get creative around the greens and yep. that wedge there really allows you to do that. Yeah. So um, I would say that's kind I of the would definitely be an advocate for that one. Yeah, that would be the reason why I incorporated that high toe in there as well too. Um, kind of looking through these other options, I really, not something a camera can visually see, but we grab some kind of higher bound stuff in the sand yeah. wedge, typically your sand club for a lot of golfers where we need a little bit more forgiveness from digging. Kind of yeah. want to keep you on top of the turf or on top of the sand. And then high toe being that versatile wedge, kind of ability yeah. to open up the face, play different shots. More so what I see there is guys going with the lower bounce option, where yeah. you really do have a ton of versatility, oh, yeah. opening up the face and it sits just dead flat. Yeah. Really just promotes that confidence look where it's gonna get up in the air yeah. for sure. I mean, if you can get over, it's a little bit different visually looking down at the head when yeah. it's, you're compared to maybe a, a traditional wedge that you've seen over the last several years. That high toe look is a little different, but right. if you can get over that, I think there's some big time performance benefits. Definitely. Um, Lastly, the putter, another yep. brand that you might not expect. Another uh, brand. We got Mizuno here. Mizuno, yep. So kind of their new release following the M-Craft. You've got your M-Craft yep. OMOI, kind of heavier head weight style where you've got more MOI or more moment of inertia stuff. Again, kind of going with the transition of more putter styles leading into that mallet design where yep. you've got farther back weights. You've got moment of inertia, like I said, where really stability is kind of your bigger thing. Yep. Helping golfers make more putts, we can keep that putter stable. Granted, not something you think about a ton, but we are going to miss putts, every, miss hit putts every oh, once yeah. in a while as oh, well yeah. too. So, kind of something there that's been cool. And the other thing that I like from a fitter's perspective comes with the weight kit. So, yeah. a lot of other manufacturers kind of have to go out and do some digging in order to get those other weight options. Mizuno sends you eights as kind of the standard option. You've yeah. got threes and you've got thirteens to kind of tinker with that that weight that you like, whether it be short putts that you struggle with and yeah. maybe you want something a little heavier. Or, we want a little more feel on those longer putts so we can yeah. kind of judge speed a little bit better. We can go with the lighter options. So again, just more options for us from a fitting perspective makes yeah. it easier to get those golfers into. Right. right, yeah. I think it's it's cool to see throughout the whole bag, but then especially to see like, you know, you think Mizuno, you think you have the irons. You think of right. their forged irons. That's been yeah. their staple forever. But then you got the putter right. in here from Mizuno. Vice versa, TaylorMade. 
Yeah. You, you, you think, you know, the woods, the, the distance, power, right? right? You know, number one driver in golf. Mm -hmm. But then you got the wedges in there. So yep. cool to see that come together with this bag. And then um, I think, you know, if you've watched our channel over the years, the last couple of years, you've seen these clubs perform really well on the channel. Uh, so uh, I think the last thing to say really is if you're interested in any of these or just want to get fit, um, you can come to Second Swing and schedule that fitting uh, through our online fitting scheduler. You can get it with Cameron or any of our fitters and they'll dial you in for the clubs that fit your game. And lastly, this bag was traded in here at the Minnetonka store. Yeah. So if you're local in uh, Twin Cities, come check out, maybe this bag is still here by the time this video is published. Uh, you only can come into the store and find out. So um, Cameron, thanks for joining. Yeah, absolutely. Really good stuff here. And I think some products that a lot of viewers are interested in and maybe this will help them make a decision. So Definitely. Um, golfers, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.